First one tonight is Adley Settle. She's a freshman. Her parents are Jesse and Donita Settle. Siblings, you may wish to list. We all got one of those. One little sister, Gracie. Interesting facts about yourself, hobbies, activities, favorites. Adley's a member of the Miko First Baptist Church. She enjoys hunting, fishing, camping, and playing travel ball, and spending time with her family and friends. Especially her best friend, Haley. Adley plays softball for the Miko Lady Bulldogs. She's an active member of the FFA, where she shows livestock and is also a member of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. She likes everything about being a Bulldog. She's escorted by Jackson Matthews, who's also a freshman. Jackson's parents, Lauren, Michael Jewell, and Tracy and Jerry Matthews. The siblings are DJ Brody Bentley and Kyler. Interesting facts about him, he's the tallest kid in the go, loves hunting and fishing, listening to music, and hanging out with friends and family. Activities he's involved in, football, basketball, and track. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is the support we get from the community and school. The next candidate tonight is Avery Teal. She's also a freshman. Avery is the daughter of Andrew and Paige Teal. She's the granddaughter of Terry and Karen Teal, Bob, Mary McFadden, and Lady Ed Butler. Avery has one older sister, Brooklyn. Avery loves watching most sports, college and professional, and loves to swim. She enjoys spending time with all 27 cousins. Avery's involved in basketball, track, volleyball, student council, academic team, FCA, and the band. Avery's favorite thing about being a Miko Bulldog is having great friends and teammates. She's escorted by Journey Mercado. Journey Mercado. Mercado is also a freshman. Parents are Erica Huntington, Logan Huntington, Rusty Mercado, and Ryder Garrison. Siblings of Brady, Mercado, and Charlie Hunter. Interesting facts. His favorite food is chicken, Alfredo. Hobbies are hanging out with a girlfriend, fishing, hanging out with his friends. He likes to sing. Activities involving gifted and talented, football and basketball. And he likes getting to hang out with the man, the man, the myth, the legend. Bruce the Bulldog. The next candidate is Haley Ross. Haley's a freshman. Her parents are Tammy and Dustin Ross. She has five older siblings, Braden, RJ, Alexa, Olivia, and Justin. Haley enjoys camping, hiking, going to the lake, playing basketball, hanging out with her family and friends, especially her best friend, Adam. Haley plays basketball and does track. She's a member of the band. She also plays the saxophone. She loves everything about being a bulldog. She's escorted tonight by Luke Jones. Luke Jones is a freshman. His parents are Austin and Jody Jones. Siblings are Eva and Bonnie. Interesting fact about Luke is he plays the piano. He's involved in football and school play. Favorite thing about being a bulldog is getting to play football. Next candidate tonight, Jenny Johnson. Parents of Sarah Jones and Freddie Johnson. Sibling of Abby Johnson. She loves playing softball. She's been playing since she was eight. Plays travel ball. Been to eight different countries. She likes sleeping in, watching movies, and going to church. Main activity she's involved in is softball. Favorite thing about being a bulldog is the friend she's made since she's transferred here. And she's escorted tonight by Rob DeLay. Rob DeLay is a freshman. Parents' names are Robert and Kira DeLay. Grandparents, Jerry and Jerry Kirkus, Brenda DeLay, and the late Harold DeLay. Siblings, Brenda DeLay. Interesting facts, plays the guitar, likes reading, helping his granddad on the farm, participating in youth group, Longview Church, and hanging out with the boys. Involved in football, basketball, academic team, and choir. Favorite thing about being a bulldog is he's not a demon, a panther, or a comet. Next guest is Jillian Ray. He's a freshman, parents are Tim and Regina Ray. Older sister, Elaine Ray. 
She plays for a travel softball team, likes hanging out with friends and family. She's involved in fast pick softball, slow pick softball, managing the girls' basketball team, track, and FCA. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is all of her amazing friends and teammates. And she is escorted tonight by Tucker Wilson. Tucker Wilson is a freshman. Parents Amy Wilson and Justin Wilson. Siblings, younger sister, and younger brother. Alex and Kate likes to play video games, play sports, and likes to sleep. He's involved in football, track, basketball, and on the academic team. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is the teammates and friends. Flower girl tonight is Emery Walker. Parents are Chase and Kelsey Walker, sister Avery, brother Riggs, grandparents Larry Walker, Alan and Tracy Bass, Peggy, and Vance Everett. She likes to color teal, playing tag with Avery, riding a bicycle, watching Barbie, doing cartwheels, and riding on a boat at the lake. And the crown bearer is Cam Jeffrey McComas. Parents are Cody and Katie McComas, brother Cody McComas, grandparents Chris McComas, Jeff and Barbara Johnson, and Maxine Wiedemann. Likes playing baseball, riding his dirt bike, showing pigs, farming with his dad, eating Chick-fil-A, and playing with friends. That concludes our junior high homecoming tour. Now we we'll present the high school. First candidate tonight is Addison Duval. This is a senior. Her parents are Brad Lindy Duval, her grandparents Rick and Robin Bigger, and Dana and the late Robert Duval. Siblings, she has a younger brother, Mason. Interesting in fact, she enjoys reading, napping, traveling, hanging out with friends and family, and overthinking just about everything. I know where you get that, Addison. Co-president of the Student Council, Vice President of the Miko Chapter of the FCCLA, Vice President of the NHS, and helping with Minds in Motion after school program. And her favorite thing about being a Bulldog is the pride and support of being from a small town. She's escorted tonight by Carson Littlejohn. Carson is a senior. His parents are Angela and Jeremy Bradford and Gavin and Valerie Littlejohn. Siblings Trent Lance, Messiah, Weston, and Brayton. Interesting facts. Likes to work with his business, play college football, wants to play college football, and watch NFL and college football. Plays basketball track and football. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is talking to Coach Bean and Coach Roberts every day. Next candidate is Kaylee McPherson. Kaylee is also a senior, the parents of Chanton Miller McPherson. Sibling is chasing the person. She enjoys showing and raising pigs with parents, hanging out with friends and family, spending time with baby, and long nights in the show bar. She's a member of the Miko FFA chapter president and also involved in FCCLA, NHS, and band. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is the friend she's made along the way and how she's known the kids she'll graduate with for almost 13 years, and she is escorted tonight by Colton Mendez. Colton is a senior. Parents are Julie Schaefer and Angel Mendez. The siblings are Austin Gonzalez, Derek Mendez, Crystal Mendez, and Dean Mendez. Favorite sport is football. And he likes being a bulldog. Next candidate tonight is Hadley Victory. Parents Taylor Victory, Dustin Victory. Siblings, Brave, Horn, and Talent Victory. Hobbies are doing hair, softball, hanging out with friends, and going out to eat. She plays fast pitch and slow pitch softball. And she just loves it here and loves being a Bulldog. She's escorted tonight by Jalen Legway.
David is also a senior. Parents are Chris and Whitney Ludwell and Tony Bathurst. Siblings, Landry, Hayden, Cannon, Matt, and then Bo Carter and Camille. He likes to fish, play sports, work out, and snowboard. He's involved in football and track. Loves being part of a great school with awesome friends and amazing church to go to. Next candidate tonight is Lainey Harris. Lainey's a senior. Her parents are Emily and Benny Harris. Her brother is Brady. Interesting thing, she's part of the first class of female trainers for the Bulldog football team. Things she's involved in is athletic trainer for the football team, basketball, FCCLA, and FCA. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is being raised here her whole life and being a fourth generation Bulldog. She's escorted tonight by Peyton Ferguson. Peyton is a senior, his parents are Wesley and Stacy Ferguson, and Chris and Malik Ashley Miller. Siblings are Hadley, Joey, Addison, and Grayson. He likes hunting, fishing, hanging out with the boys. Activities are football, baseball, and FFA. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is the stands are full under the Friday Night Lights. Next candidate is Peyton Journey Cake. Her parents, John and Heather Journey Cake. Sisters, Jacob, Piper, and Joker. Favorite hobbies are playing softball, hanging out, eating with her friends, and sleeping. Activities are fast pitch softball, slow pitch softball, and basketball. Favorite thing about being a Bulldog is being able to represent Nico and being back with her teammates at softball games. She's escorted tonight by Landon McMahon. Landon is a junior. Parents are Don and Don McMahon. His grandparents are Melinda Myers and Nancy McMahon. Siblings are Lauren, Luke, and Lane. And a new sister in law, Ryan. He likes hunting, fishing, hanging out with friends, listening to music, likes watching movies and spending time with the family. Participates in football, basketball, baseball, track, also FFA student council and NHS. Favorite thing about being a bulldog is playing sports. I thought he was going to say math. Flower Girl tonight is Alan Scott. Parents are Aaron and Angela Scott. Grandparents Randy and Teresa Scott, Leanne Moore, Patsy Love. Like playing in the park, reading books, playing with Barbies, listening to Taylor Swift, playing basketball, her favorite cover is blue, and her favorite food is cake. The crown bearer tonight is Colson Jensen. Colson's parents are Jared and Sarah Jensen. Siblings are Hattie and Callum. Grandparents Eric and Sherry Jensen and Steve and Cheryl McCracken. Colson enjoys spending time with his siblings and cousins, being out at the farm, riding for with their shooting guns, fishing. He has a great time playing football for Minko. When he grows up, he wants to be a scientist. That's both our homecoming courts. We'll start by crowning the freshman junior high king and queen. The junior high king is Rob DeLay. And the junior high queen is Jenny Johnson. Big round of applause for the junior high queen and king. And now we'll crown the high school homecoming king and queen. In a moment. We're waiting on the drum roll.
And now, the high school homecoming king is Courts of Little John. And the high school homecoming queen, 2024, Paisley Dirty K. Congratulations again to all the candidates. This is the 2024 Junior High and High School Homecoming Court. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please rise for the singing and playing of our national anthem and remain standing for the invocation. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this day that you bless us with, and we thank you for another opportunity we have to be here tonight. Once again, we ask you to protect the players tonight, 
We ask you to be with all the fans here tonight. We ask you to grant everyone a safe trip home. Most of all, we're thankful for your son, Jesus, and it's through him we pray. Amen. Got a couple of quick announcements tonight. First of all, there's a, a donation uh, for the Convoy of Hope. 100% of the donations are going to go to help the hurricane.
When you were going to the tallest, and then you further the second half. Alright, All right, good, good evening. evening. Welcome, Welcome to Bulldog.tv. Bulldog. About, About to get, to get started, started with this game for the Mingo Bulldogs Bulldog versus the Winnie Wood Savages. Savages. Winnie Wood deferred in the second half, so they're going to kick off to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Carson Little John takes the kick. kick. He's looking for a spot, but it's brought down quickly by number two for the Winnie Wood Savages. I believe I've heard that uh, there's some sound issues, and so if there's still issues going on, we're trying to work on that. And so please text us if there are issues, um, and then we'll get those figured out. Mr. Sims is working on the camera, trying to find somebody to work the camera for us, and so uh, bear with us as he's trying to do that. Uh, but we're going to get started with this game as we're trying to work out a bunch of issues. And so coming out for the Bulldogs. Quarterback, quarterback is Daisy Murtry. I'll get you the rest of the lineup here in just a second. Under center, Daisy Murtry hands it off to Sebastian Valdez. He's going to get about th two yards and be taken down at the 33, at the 33 yard line there. And so out for the Bulldogs, um, looks like the line is Jackson Matthews, number 52, 59, Jace Bratcher, Case Brasfield. So I'm, I'm trying, trying to look, to look here, here, and then out of the receiver. receiver. And they're going to hand off to Sebastian Valdez. He's going to find a little hole, cut up, and, 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 and get taken down about at the first down line. As the, the ref marks, marks it there about at the first down, so it's going to be first down Bulldogs. And so out there for the Bulldogs, uh, Peyton Ferguson's out there, number six. But uh, Carson Little John checks in for him. Aiden Brummel, number three out there. On the, on the other, other side, side is Brody Matthews. Matthews. In the backfield, we have number nine, Sebastian Valdez, Valdez and then also Taylor Trulo. We're going to hand off to Sebastian Valdez, who's going to find a little bit of room, run up, and get taken down about the 47 yard line. So, got a little good running game going. Uh, the Bulldogs have been working really hard at that this year to get, uh, to get the. To get, to get the run, the run game, game going, going. Uh, uh, seems, seems that we're, that we're still, still having some audio issues, issues so, so, so uh, I'm trying, trying to work, work on that as we as we, as we go. go but uh, right, right now, 
um, without Mr. Sims, we'll have to just wait until he gets here. Dave's new merchant fakes the handoff, he's looking downfield, he's got an open 80 Brummel, gets it to him, he makes a nice catch, down at his feet, good catch 80 Brummel. That was a good, uh, good little play there, play action. Um, Minko's all, all, all they've done is run, and then just a little play action pass opens up the downfield pass. Uh, if that had a little bit more on it, it might be a touchdown the way uh, Aiden Brummel's been running this year, but uh, it was a little bit behind him, but he still makes the grab. Dace McMurtry in, in the shotgun, Sebastian Valdez next to him. Takes a snap, hands it off to Sebastian Valdez, and finds a nice hole, is going to be taken down about at the 24-yard line. If you, if you see, see it's, it's uh, uh, we're doing a little breast, breast cancer, cancer awareness, awareness uh, here for Minko, and so there's a little uh, thing out on the field to, for that, and also a lot of our players are wearing pink sleeves and socks and stuff like that to, to help raise awareness for breast cancer, and so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, we're uh, raising money for this game for the hurricane. Hey, Mr. Sims, they said it's still echoing, so you might... Message, message that guy. guy. All right. All right. All right. And so, so the handoff to Sebastian Valdez is going to go out to the right side, side and, and he's going to be taken down about the 20 yard line. line. It's, it's going to be about second and two, two, third and two, two, two. Uh, for uh, the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs, Bulldogs on a nice little drive here. here. I'm, I'm now joined, joined by Mr. Sims. Mr. Hello. Mr. Sims has been running around like crazy a little bit. Well, it's homecoming night and it was a busy time out there for a little bit, so. I'm, I'm finally, finally up, up here. It looks, looks like we're doing pretty good. good. I haven't got to see any of this yet. Yeah, nice, nice little drive that they, they put together. <laughs> and we're, we're going to work, work on the sound real quick, so, so I may not say anything for a little bit. That's all right. Dave's going to hand, hand, hand off to Sebastian, Sebastian Valdez. Valdez. He's going to be hit at the line immediately. He's going to be taken down about a yard short of the first. So it's going to bring up a fourth and one. I would assume that they're going to go for this. It doesn't even look like they're thinking about it. Okay. 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 So, so about, about eight, eight minutes, minutes, eight minutes left, left in this first quarter, quarter but the Bulldogs, Bulldogs put together a nice drive, drive, drive all the way down, down the field. field. Been, Been mostly run plays, plays and one, one throw, throw play. play. Uh, a little play action, action pass, Aiden Brummel got, got a, a decent, decent chunk, chunk down, down the field. field. But, uh, now, we're now we're sitting, sitting about, about the 14 yard line, first and 10. Dacey Mercury in the center, hands off, fakes the handoff to A.J. Russell, hands off to Sebastian Valdez, is going to bounce around for about a gain of two, three yards. So uh, we're, we're working on this, uh, and we are, we're working on this, that's all I can say. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know, know what's going on. No, I don't know. We, I don't know if we, I, I, we did something. I, mean, I don't think we touched the board. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's well, see what we, 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 we get this in the end zone if we can. can. Yeah. And we, yeah. Uh, yeah. Put, put some pressure on. It's going to be a tough football game tonight, Cameron. It is. It's going to be hard fought. Whoever wins this thing is going to earn it. Dacey Murphy rolling out. He's going to take the run. He's going to get out of bounds. That was, that was a second, second and nine play there, and so Dacey's Mercury, Mercury looks, looks to throw, throw but nothing was open, and so he safely runs out, out of bounds. Two, Two plays, plays to get a first, first down here. here. Yeah. 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 It is third, third and ten, ten, so it looks so like, 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 like he lost, lost a yard there, there. there. on that on little, little scramble, scramble on the 14. Need ten yards for a first down, need 14 for a touchdown. Bulldogs, Bulldogs put together, together a nice, nice drive, drive here. here. Uh, really, I mean, they've, they've done, done a good, good job, job of, of, except, except for here where they really kind of stalled out and got behind the chains, so we'll see what, see what they, they can do. do. And they're going to throw, throw some flags. flags. Uh, I believe so. Uh, nope, 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 it's, it's on awesome. delay game. It's a delay game on the Bulldogs, so we're going to go back five more yards, and that's going to be third and 15 from the 19th. 
So, so getting get behind, behind the chains, chains here, here uh, stalling, stalling out again, again on this drive. drive. They've, they've, they've seemed to do that a whole lot this year. year. Um, kind of stalled out here in the red zone. But a good drive so far except for right here. And so they've done that a bunch. So hopefully we can figure this one out and maybe get get these 15 yards for a first down. Jason Murphy, Murphy looks the pass, pass, goes out right, right to Aiden Brubble, Brubble, who had it in his hands, hands fumbled it around, and drops it. And so, so close call, call there to get the first down, down but unable, unable to bring, bring it in, in. so it's going to be fourth and 15. 15. And so, so they're so going to get to play with Jason Murphy, and he's going to come, gonna come, come out and let, let his team know what's going on. Six minutes and 21 seconds on this clock, still... Fourth and 15 on the 19. Looking to make something happen here, at least get a first down. I'm going to throw another flag. False start on the Bulldogs, so going back another five. Not a good end of the drive here for the Bulldogs. Uh, and so not looking great here on this. And so... Dacey Murtry, Murtry, looking, Murtry left, looking left, looking at Carson's Carson little Johnny, he's going to throw it into the end zone for him, and oh, when he was, when he was gonna, gonna get, get barely, barely just get a hand on it. Uh, Carson, Carson little John's asking, asking for a flag. flag. I would have probably agreed there that uh, there, there might have been, been some extra, extra contact, contact but, but by the time the ball was up in the air, it was just a good play there by the Winniewood Savages. So Miko and Winniewood have played quite a few times, actually. I, the, I, the last I can remember is we went to Winniewood for a playoff game. Ended up uh, losing that two years ago. Uh, they had a, they had a quarterback at that time. His name was Caden Knight. He's going to go play at Baylor here pretty soon. He moved to Paul's Valley though. Uh, but his little brother is out there, number zero. Uh, he's he, that's his little brother playing out there. So we'll see if he's got the same kind of wheels as he had. And so they hand it off to the little Knight, and he is taken down. About, about 25, 25. Didn't, didn't get, get very, very far. far. And so, so good, good defense. defense. I've, been I've been impressed, impressed recently, recently by, by the Bulldogs, Bulldogs defensive, defensive line. line. They've, They've really seem to do pretty good. good. Is, uh, can someone let me know about our sound? We are working on it. Um, but someone please text. Because it sounds, it sounds good, good to me. me. Yeah, it sounds good to us. So I can't really... Uh, hear, hear the broadcast, the broadcast. So just, just let me know if it's good, bad, bad whatever. Yeah. We've, got We've got someone we're getting ready to put on this, I think. So I do apologize for the, the problems. So they hand it off to uh, number zero, which is, his last name is Knight. I'm trying to get his first name. Uh, but they hand it off to him, and he barely gets another two-yard gain, so it's going to be third and six from their own 28. And... Uh, Oh, oh, got him to, to move there. Yeah, that uh, should, should be false yeah, start. That's a big false start. Third and 11. Third and 11. That's uh, huge, huge for the defense, defense there. So, so force the punt, punt here with a good stop. stop. Yeah. Yeah. Charles, Charles said there's, there's no change, change to the sound. sound. So. Yeah, Charles, yeah, Charles we, we do have uh, text, text on it from Squirtle, and they're going to talk us through this here in a minute, I think. So. If we, if we, we might, might have, have to, to go off and quit, 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 quit broadcasting broadcast to work on the sound. Yeah. We're going to get, get it done uh, the, the best, best we can. So now it's third and 11 from their own 23. They're going to hand it off again to number zero. Who does oh, good job. I thought he was going to bust us there Yeah, great job. I thought he was going to bust us there for a few yards. Sebastian Valdez was covered by the receiver being blocked, but he did a good job to shed that one get get the stop there. So, so it's 4th and 10, ten now, now, so it looks like Winniewood's like like going to punt it away because they're, they're deep in their, their own territory. territory. We're getting some help from Squirtle here with the sound. Hopefully we can figure it out. Winniewood punts it off. We have no one deep to return it, so it's just going to roll, roll, roll back to the 25. So Bulldogs are going to start at a similar spot as they did.
All right. All right. And so, so out come the Bulldogs, Bulldogs this time, number eight, eight Cassius, Cassius Johnson, Johnson in the backfield. In the backfield. And, so and so we're going to jump, jump off early. Jackson, Jackson Matthews, Matthews there comes, comes out early and is going to get, get the Bulldogs, Bulldogs pushed push back, back another five, five yards. yards. Hasn't, Hasn't been, been very uh, clean, clean here, here for the Bulldogs, Bulldogs coming off out in this game. game. Uh, Offensively, with Luke, Luke already, already grabbed, grabbed a couple, couple penalties and pushed his way back uh, from where we need to be. be. Uh, and, and so, so hopefully, we can figure some stuff out, get some more discipline, discipline going. Uh, four minutes and three seconds. 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 AJ Russell, AJ Russell, 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 Russell,
All right, they're going to hand it off to Adrian Knight, who's going to be met by Chase Bradford in the backfield. He's going to pull him straight down. Good play there by Jace Bratcher to make a nice play and get in the backfield immediately and stop that run before he even started. And so now the Savages are third and 12 from their own 48-yard line. Good job by the Bulldogs not to give up anything here with the decent field position that the Savages end up getting, but they're back on the 48-yard line with third and 12. Quarterback yeah. Rowland, right, going to look to throw, throws it, overthrows his receiver, and it's going to hit the ground. So it's going to be well, right with that one. He has a hard one, I'm sure. I was watching him throw in warm-ups, and he can throw pretty good. Uh, I heard from some of the, the kids this week that he's a pretty good little quarterback, and so uh, he, he's got the ability to make some pretty tough throws. Hasn't done anything yet, but uh, you never know. And so... The Savages are going to punt. This time, this time we do have Carson Little John back. And so Savages punt it. Nice little punt. It's going to bounce out of bounds about the 20-yard line. Now we don't have camera. Nope, now it's back. All right, we're good. It's been a night of technical issue after yeah. technical issue after technical issue. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're still streaming. That's a good thing. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, no signal. It's in that. You might check. It's in that stinking cable. I'm going to go up there and check it out. Yeah. I think that's what it is. So, yeah, I've, um, I'm going to have to go up there. <laughs> well, we'll just do a little bit of radio here for a second. Uh, Dace McMurtry underneath center. Going to hand it off to Taylor Trulove, who's going to kind of get around the edge and fall forward for about a gain of six yards. He's We're on our own 20 Six, we're on our own 26-yard line, and so 27-yard line. Good little run there to get outside by Taylor Trulove. He's ran really good on those little jet sweep uh, to the outside. He does. He's got some wheels, and so he did a good job there. Dace McMurtry, underneath center, hands it off to AJ Russell, who's going to cut up in, on the inside and get brought down. But the spot they're going to give him about a first down. And so first down, Bulldogs looking to capitalize here off of uh, forcing the, the Savages to punt twice now. Um, but we're unable to finish out our good drive, the first drive we had, and so looking to actually be able to do that this time. Uh, to be able to finish this drive. All right, looks like we got picture now. Dace McMurtry fumbles the snap. Gets on the ground for it, is able to recover it, but not a good first down play there. Just fumbled the snap a little bit, and now we're a little bit behind. All right. So the Bulldogs are on their own 29. They're going to let the time run out. And it's going to be zeros on the clock for the first quarter. And zeros on the scoreboard after the first quarter. And so good defensive play by the Bulldogs. Haven't let the, the Savages get anything going uh, on offense, but they have not been able to do anything on, on their own side for the offense. Um, struggling, as we have all year long, uh, to have good drives, uh, to be able to go all the way down the field, but just to stall out in the red zone. Um, and so it's something that we've – done all year and it, and it needs to to be fixed if we want to win games like this uh Winnie Wood's not a bad team they got a lot of speed um on both sides of the ball they can they got a lot of speed on defense a lot of speed on offense and so you don't you never know when they're going to break a play and score a touchdown so you got to capitalize when you have the ball and the Bulldogs have been unable to do that uh, a couple times this year when they get in the red zone um whether it's just to get sacked uh to give up on give up a sack in the red zone or even uh, there's been a couple times uh, that we've gotten pushed back because of penalties and so those are things that you can control on the penalties uh, just got to be disciplined when we get in the red zone can't get too amped up can't get too excited got to still do your job and do what you need to do to get into the end zone and so um, got to do better on that we keep losing all right we, we we are going we've got video they can hear us that's right 
They don't have to see me, though. That's uh, even better. That's right. We've made it. Yeah, we're doing good. Uh, I didn't get to watch much of that quarter, but it's a defensive struggle for sure. It is. And uh, it's, it's going to be like this all night long. So, Dason McMurtry hands off to Taylor Truelove, and he's going to get tackled for a loss of yeah. about four or five. Uh, just a broken play there. The Savages are able to run straight through the line and get uh, to the backfield very quickly, causing a loss of four. So it's uh, going to be third This 19. district that we're in is very evenly matched. and this is. You know, this is a uh, – we're going to have to play well to win, as yep. I mentioned earlier, and – uh, they're going to have to play well to beat us. So it's, yep. it's, it's going to be depend on who can get a, a big play here or there tonight uh, and who wins this football game. That's right. In shotgun, Dason McMurtry's looking right. Uh, it's a little screen play to let everybody Ooh, through. Nice Sebastian block. Valdez got it, and then he's going to get tackled a little bit short. low. They're about the 26-yard line. That was a nice block to set that play up. It didn't go far enough, but um, uh, it's uh, – it was a good play. Yeah. So it's going to be give and take a lot of punting, a lot of defense tonight, uh, yeah. obviously. I think we've got to hit Aiden Brummel in the pass play or two. I think that's that's yeah. going to be key. I right. told him this uh, today I wanted to see two touchdowns out of yeah. him. Yeah. Well, and you missed uh, it earlier. He he had a uh, – there was a play action pass, and he caught about <coughs> oh, a 30-yard catch there. And so, A.J. Nice Russell, punt, A.J. Yeah, nice punt all the way out to about Did that 35. Hit? I guess it didn't. It looked pretty close. Yeah, I thought it hit his foot. I did too. Um, but there was no reaction out of anybody, and so yeah. they're going to call it down. Homecoming night, Cameron. Yeah, homecoming. Big, big crowd out here tonight. Mm -hmm. Outstanding group. Uh, got a lot of people watching us. Benny, you're watching us again, and yeah. we're glad that you are. Um, it's a big night tonight. Yeah. Homecoming's good, always oh, good it time, is. It especially is. here in Minko with the yeah. parade and the, oh, I, I the pep bet, rally. And you know, we had a pep a parade. I mean, we had 600 people here yeah, at the pep it was rally awesome. last night. It was, it was packed. Awesome. It was just a great night. Love the support this community gives our children. Yep. Yep. They do a good job to show up and show out, and yep. so it was cool to see. I, I was pretty impressed with that, too. So here comes the, the defense. The Savages moving some people around. They're going to hand off to – Jaden Knighton is going to be taken down for maybe a gain of a yard. They really want to get him the ball. Um, I know you missed the first quarter, but th I don't think they've done much other than just handed the ball off to him. They tried to make well, a couple throws and didn't happen. But Quarterback really wasn't on target at all. No. Uh, but he has an arm. He does. He, he, can, he can throw he can, it. He can throw that thing. Um, and, um, you know, we just got to play within ourselves, play mm -hmm. poised. Uh, I believe we can break a play or two to get in the end zone ourselves. Yeah. So just just play good defense, solid defense, and and uh, well, they do a lot of shifting, don't they? They do. They do. Trying to get their their eyes out of there, and so Jaden Knighton's going to go for a little run. Good stop there, uh, as it looked like he was about to break that tackle. It was. So that was a good stop by number. So he's three yards short of the first down. So third and three. I don't know if you remember Caden Knighton. Oh, I remember him very yeah. well. He was, well. He's pretty quick. Paul's Valley now. Yeah, Paul's yeah. Valley. And so that's his little brother out there, number zero. Um, he's not quite the size Caden Knighton is. But no, I'm sure he's pretty athletic, though, and is. a good football player. Big third down right here for the Bulldogs to get a stop. And so here we go. Bulldogs send in four, make a throw to number mm -hmm. one, and he is going to get the first down. Pretty interesting. He ran backwards. That would have been nice if they yeah. could have got him and – uh, kept, he's gonna have the first down. So that was interesting. It was very interesting. It's a fast-moving football game right now with the way we're, you know, it's a defensive struggle, a lot yeah. of running, and um, gotta gotta have a defensive stand here. You don't want to let them score. No, you don't. And so especially don't want to give up the first touchdown no. here. No, no, you so don't. First and ten from the forty-six yard line, their own forty-six. Gonna take the snap. He's gonna fake the handoff. Look to throw it. He's going to overthrow his receiver. And he's really not very accurate. Um, no, and it was a well-covered play, too. That, I mean, he would have made a yeah. completion, but they were well right there to, to tackle and, and make the stop. So, yeah. good deal. It uh, looks like, to me, the Bulldogs have made a change on defense uh, of where they're lining people up because Carson Littlejohn's running at middle linebacker. Looks like Cashin Johnson's on uh, outside linebacker. Yeah. And so uh, he's covering some receivers and stuff like that. And so the Savage is going to take the snap, fake the handoff, roll to the left. He's got some room. He's going to throw it, but 
He's going to be taken down nice by job. Aiden Brummel at about the 50. And so that was a gain of about a four yard gain. Four yards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty good job by the defense there. That was uh, they were spread out, had it spread out there, yeah. and so you really limit the damage. Looks like it's going to be third and seven. So, uh, good right. play by the Bulldog defense there to hold them to third and long. Yeah. So yeah, third and seven from the the. I suppose it's two down territory with the way their defense is playing. Uh, I, I would suppose that if they don't get it here, they're going to go for it. Yeah. So in the shotgun, takes a snap, takes the handoff. It's going to roll. Going to run it himself. He's going to be brought down after the getting the first down. He's going to be brought down about the 36-yard line. Pretty athletic quarterback. He's got some he wheels is. on him. Um, that, that's pretty common for this year. We've played a lot of athletic quarterbacks. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they should be used to it after uh, yeah. last week. Stratford, that's all they wanted Stratford, to do. Stratford, uh, he, he was outstanding. The kid at the pass, he was outstanding. Yeah. Uh, they played some good ones, and this one's going to be falling right there. So, uh Wynwood comes in with just one loss to Christian Heritage, so they're they're, they're having a good season oh, so yeah. far. Christian Heritage is a good team too. So yeah, oh yeah, they're real good. In the shotgun, hands it off to Jaden Knighton, who's gonna run behind his lineman, but gonna be taken down after a gain of maybe two. And so Wynwood's <coughs> got some big guys on their line, um, got some size. Yeah, they so do, and uh, it's gonna be a battle for our defensive line to to get a push, but. They've done pretty good so far. Yep. Second and seven from the Bulldogs, 33. Important that we tighten up here, you know, bend but don't break. That's what we yeah. had last week a lot. Yeah. We, they did move the ball up and down in between the 20s, but we were able to really limit the damage. We need to do that here on this series. Takes a snap, hands it off that to uh, Jaden Knighton, who finds a little bit of a hole. Yeah. It's taken down. So another big down, big third down opportunity for the Bulldog defense here. And I, I, I think you're going to see a lot of the same. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see a quarterback keeper right here again. Yeah. Um, I don't think they'll go to the air. They might, but I, I yeah. don't really think so. I think it'll be the quarterback run here. Yeah, I don't think they want to trust this guy to really throw it very yeah. much. But they got two guys that could run back there. And so yeah. it's always you got to keep your eyes back there and see what they're going to do while trying to guard downfield as well. So takes the handoffs, looking and trying to uh, make a run for it. Gone and it's going to be taken down at yeah, the, the, after a first down. We should have had him down back there, just yeah. uh, missed the tackle, missed uh, really not real good there. So we got to got to cinch it up here as they're about to the red zone at the 25 yard line. Yeah. So Bulldogs did a good job of getting back in the they backfield, did. but they over over committed a little bit, and he just stepped up in the pocket and gets the first down. Quarterback's name is Jake Everett. He's a junior, number five. Winnie Wood has had such a football tradition. Yeah, they have. You know, they've had some great ones through the years. So, in the backfield, he's going to hand it off to nice Jaden Knighton. He's going to be taken down by Brody Brody Matthews. Those the, those the Matthews boys. We're going to be calling their names out the yeah. next three years. This year, yeah. next couple. They're they're good at what they do, and uh, they're only going to get better. Yeah, I mean, what freshman and sophomore, correct? Yep. And so uh, they got lots of time, and they're they're playing really good this year um, for freshman and sophomore coming in. Just well, the freshman is like one of the tallest kids we have in the school, and yeah. he's he's uh he's getting better each week. He is, and so Jake Everett in the backfield for Winnie Woods, gonna put it in motion, gonna hand it off to number one. He's gonna try to find nice an edge. Job. He's gonna be Th taken job. down. Jace Bratcher is in there by the yard. So, called Jace Bratcher's name a lot this year. Jace uh, has uh, played exceptionally well in his position and uh, a great, great defender. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go back up there. I don't. This stinking cable, we're having problems with it, folks. I am so sorry. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> having yeah. all sorts of issues tonight. Yeah. Um, but it's third and seven from the Bulldog 22. I'm going to try to. Just going to hand it off. Or fake the handoff and roll. Okay. And he's gonna be taken down by Taylor True Love. I think I see. Not for a first down, but there is a flag in the backfield. So let's see what that's about. Okay, it's not sound. Gonna, we got video issues. I'm I guess. Unplug the video for just a minute. I think I see maybe what's going on here. Yeah, I think somebody said there's no video. I said, yeah, we're yeah we're working on it. I promise. <laughs> 
And so it's going to be holding against the Winnie Wood Savages, so it's going to put them back even further. I can't see it. I'm going to go up there and fix okay. this camera. And so the Savage is coming out, third and 17 from the Bulldogs' 32-yard line. He's going to be looking to throw. He's a left, left-handed left quarterback. Gets it out to Jaden Knighton, who's going to get some yards, but not the first down. And he was taken out of bounds by number 59, Jace Bratcher. There's Jace Bratcher again making the play. Good little linebacker. I didn't mean to say little, so if he listens to it, I'm sure he probably wouldn't appreciate me calling him little, but uh, that's just kind of what I said. Um, so sorry, Jace, about that. But um, I'm sure you're very – you're muscular. You're, you're big. I get it. And so um, the Savages trying to make this first down, fourth and seven. Now we got some video, and then we lose it. And so they're going to try to get uh, the Bulldogs to jump off sides, and they are unable to. And so fourth and seven, the Savages are going to call a timeout, and they're going to talk about it. Good job by the Bulldogs. Um, good job by the Bulldogs here to put them in a, in a long third down position, and uh, they ran the screenplay and was able to keep everything in front of them and not give up a whole lot of yards. Uh, and get him in a fourth and seven opportunity. And so Savage is going to try to come up with a play and get into the end zone. <coughs> Trying to be the first team uh, tonight to get into the end zone. So we'll see if they are, but it is fourth and seven. And so there is a lot of yards before they got they can even get the first down. And so Bulldogs got to keep it in front of them, make sure no one uh, gets past that that little spot for them that, at the, from seven yards. And so I think they're going to make a uh, – the Savages are going to try to have to throw it here because the Bulldogs have done a good job of stopping the run and not letting them uh, break one. And so I, I doubt that they're going to try to run here because um, they, they want to get this first down. And so let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, they're going to go for a kick. I've been told they do have a pretty good uh, kicker. And so they're trying to distract him, almost get in there for the block. He puts it up, and it is long enough, but it is not in the right spot. And so he's got a good leg. Um, it had the distance. He kicked that from about the 25-yard line, so it had the distance, but it just did not go in. And so still zeros on the board with three minutes and five seconds left in this first half. <coughs> so Bulldogs have an opportunity here to drive down the field with no time left and put some points on the board. Who gets the ball coming out of the second? Winnie Wood gets the ball. So okay, yeah, it'd be first. nice to get a score. Yeah. Um, defense playing pretty well here tonight. So yeah. really, if we can move in the next three minutes and get some points on the board, it goes a long ways. This is a fast game. It is. It's going really quick. So they throw out for a pitch to Sebastian oh, Valdez, nice who cut. makes a nice move. Gonna be taken down. I'm gonna get a first down. Yeah, at the 30. So first down, Bulldogs. So two minutes and 54 seconds left. Bulldogs, the best thing they could do on this drive is not get any penalties to push yeah. them further back. I mean, we don't want to give the ball back. You no. know, we want to score, but we do not want to give the ball back no. to uh, those guys. And so, Dayson McMurtry, under center, Sebastian Valdez in the back. He's going to hand it off to Sebastian Valdez, who does find a little bit of a room and gets a gain of about three, four yards. Sebastian's averaged 120 yards a game. And he's really? the leading rusher in the district. So that's awesome. Uh, have to have good, and it's starting to fire it off here off yeah. the, uh, on this drive. So that's a, that's a good thing there. Yeah, you knew uh, coming into the season he was going to get the ball a lot, and he's done, a, he's done good with the opportunities he's oh, been yeah. given. Oh, yeah, he has. And so he's a really good athlete. It's fun to watch play. And so 120 yards, that's that is, it. It should surprise me, but it doesn't <coughs> surprise me. That's a lot of yards. Yeah. So back in the same formation, hands it off. <coughs> Sebastian Valdez, who runs into a pile and is taken down at the 36-yard line. Yep. Time is uh, quickly going away here. It so I want to try to get this first down and maybe take some shots here to, to get the ball deep I, if we get the first down. 
Yeah, and so a minute and 30 seconds. Third and four. They're trying to get him to jump off sides, looking yeah. for the play. 12 seconds remaining on the game clock. On the snap clock, I mean. And so they're going to put somebody in motion. Dacey McMurtry's going to try to run it, and he's going to go down and take a knee mid midfield. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. They really, you know, they're 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 all loading the box. We got twelve men up front, yeah. so it's it's pretty. Or eleven men up front. <laughs> uh, I wish they had twelve men up front. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. But. And so Bulldogs are gonna have to kick it now, um, with a minute and seven seconds remaining. They were unable to get the the drive going. Uh, a couple handoffs Defensive to Sebastian. Struggle tonight. It's taking about forty minutes for this first half to go, which is crazy. But yeah. Uh, you know, it's. Um, I think the second half will be similar. Yeah, we got to find out. We got to find that end zone, Cameron. Yeah, and again, I mean, it's just self-inflicted stuff. We've had some good yeah. drive, or we had a good drive here at the beginning, and just stalled out in the red zone. And we've seen that a lot this year. And yeah, um, you can't win games if you're stalling out in the red zone, um, getting exactly. penalties and stuff like that. You're not going to win games doing that. And so, AJ Russell, back to punt it. Number three, Luke Stevenson, back deep for the Winniewood Savages. A minute and seven seconds left in this half. A.J. Russell takes the punt. Nice punt. Good punt. Gets it past the 50. It's going to take a nice, a nice little roll, roll too. There, yeah. And they're going to down it at about the 36-yard line. Just have to keep everything in front of you, play good defense. Yep. And, um the kid has struggled at throwing the football, but we don't want to give him an opportunity to make mm -hmm. a good throw. I promise you that. So yeah. play good defense and keep him out of the end zone. Yeah, I would imagine uh, Winnie Woods just going to run the ball here. Um, I think they have a guy that they think, you know, if he gets an opportunity, he's going to break one, um, or him or the quarterback. And so um, they're probably just going to run the ball here and try to run this out. Winnie Wood come out, coming out with a different quarterback this time, number eight, Phoenix. Dela De Plain, and he is a tall quarterback, and so he's going to come out and throw it, and he's going to throw it into the dirt. Man, that guy is tall. And so a different quarterback, it's kind of a strange thing to do with 50 seconds left in the uh, – I'm guessing he's their guy that can throw it maybe. And so um, they try to get it out to number 21 and throws it straight in the dirt. Does not work, and so 52 seconds left, but this, the clock is stopped, second and 10. We would have brought a pretty good crowd tonight. They uh, did. And we have a we have a lot of people here tonight, folks, with we Miko do. and Winnie Wood and, uh, and so look in, he's gonna roll right. He's gonna get it to his guy number two, oh, but nice Sebastian Valdez is there Sebastian. to hit him immediately. Give him no Third time down, to so. go anywhere. So the Winnie Wood's gonna try to hurry up, get on the ball. Thirty sec seven seconds. Counting down, third and seven. Thirty seconds remaining. Trying to get the play in. He's going to take the snap. He's going to look right. Quick fire over to number 21. He's going to be tackled out of bounds by Dason McMurtry. Well. So they get out of bounds after a first down. 21 seconds. Still a lot of still a lot of uh, field they need to go. Yeah, it is. Uh, just keep it in front of you and yeah. tackle. The main thing is tackle them and, and get the, keep that clock running. I don't know if they have any timeouts left here. I'm uh, I think they have one timeout left. So he's going to roll left this time, looking to throw. He's going to throw it up in the air. Aiden Brummel's there to pick it off, take it out of bounds. Oh, he's, he is out of bounds. That's all right, though. Good defense. Uh, good stop. Um, good job by Aiden. Yeah, he just threw that one up in the air. As yeah. a Winnie Wood coach, you don't want to see that. No. That was not a good no. idea. 14 seconds. They got a cool little light board over there for their plays. I don't know if you guys they can do. see that. I see that. That's pretty interesting. And so, going to try to take the snap here. Looking left. Some pressure gets it to number two. Oh, but big he's tackle right there. That'll down. be into the half right there. Unless they call. They're going to take a timeout. Man. Um, Eight seconds. So, while we're in this timeout. Yeah. Many generations of Minko students had a favorite lunch lady. Yeah. Melinda Myers. Mm. Uh, I love Melinda. Uh, I, was, I remember when I started working at Minko many years ago, I was kind of giving her a hard time. 
<laughs> about cinnamon rolls. I like some cinnamon rolls. Yeah. That staff, Barbara Blevins, her, uh, and the others in there, Melinda, made the biggest cinnamon roll I've ever seen and gave it to me just as a joke. Yeah. But they served kids, and that was their passion. Mm-hmm. Today is her 82nd birthday. Oh, wow. So we want to wish our favorite lunch lady, Melinda Myers, a happy 82nd birthday. Yeah. Uh, we are so, so happy to uh, – I'm sure she's here tonight watching her – uh, favorite bulldog team. She may not be, but I think she is. And her grandson, of course, is injured right now. Yeah. But uh, she's a wonderful person. Yeah. And she loved feeding children, mm-hmm. and, and that, she worked hard at it for many, 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 many years. So yeah. happy birthday, Melinda! If you're listening tonight, I'm not sure if you're here, but I, if you are, somebody's listening in. Yeah. And they can tell you that we wished you a very, very happy birthday. Yeah, you always gotta love your lunch ladies. That's for sure. Oh yes. So when you would. Trying to take the last snap of the night. He's going to throw it downfield. A.J. Russell was there for the pick and drops it. And so he had. He was running before he caught it. Yeah, he had every <laughs> bit of that. And he was looking to see how he was going to go down there and score, but uh, falls out of his hands. Winnie Wood does not have a good uh, quarterback um, I, to throw the ball. They, he's, they got some guys with some wheels, but uh, there's been some weird throws. And so. They're going to try now here for the last play. Fourth and five. Takes a snap. They're going to fake the handoff. Looking to throw long. Aiden Brummel was there over top and knocks it down. And so we're going to halftime, 0-0 after a quick halftime. And so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get back with you here in just a minute. Sorry about all the issues earlier. And so uh, enjoy these commercials, and we'll be back here in just a minute. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Surface Experts is your one-stop shop for all of your hard surface damage. If you have a scratch, chip, crack, burn mark, or hole, we can handle it. We repair all types of hard surfaces, including stone and laminate countertops, wood and LVP floors, tubs, showers, and cabinets. We can also grind and polish glass cooktops and remove scratches from stainless steel elevators and appliances. We focus on repairing just the spot with the damage so you don't have to replace the whole surface. We work with apartments and residential properties all over Oklahoma. Give us a call today to schedule your repair. In our business and at our firm, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. We are advocates for our client. We speak for them. So as a part of that advocacy, it involves hiring the best experts. It's doing the legal research. It's doing the medical research. That is advocacy behind the scenes. It's not just the bells and whistles in front of the jury. So you want to create your future. Discover a path worth traveling down. Find a career to get excited about. For decades, Career Tech has been training talented, skilled individuals, empowering them to step into a career that fuels not only their life, but the Oklahoma workforce. These individuals are the heartbeat of this state's economy. Individuals just like you. Create your future today at Oklahoma Career Tech. This back to school season, Give your home the connection it deserves with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Experience the power of Wi-Fi 6 technology for smoother streaming, gaming, and learning. And with the Go Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app, managing your home network is a breeze. Choose from multiple plans with symmetrical speeds for lightning fast uploads and downloads. Get your family school ready with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Sign up today at gopioneer.com. Oklahoma's number one. 
number one high school streaming service, Squirtle.tv. Find out more at Squirtle.com slash stream. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We're ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Surface Experts is your one-stop shop for all of your hard surface damage. If you have a scratch, chip, crack, burn mark, or hole, we can handle it. We repair all types of hard surfaces, including stone and laminate countertops, wood and LVP floors, tubs, showers, and cabinets. We can also grind and polish glass cooktops and remove scratches from stainless steel elevators and appliances. We focus on repairing just the spot with the damage so you don't have to replace the whole surface. We work with apartments and residential properties all over Oklahoma. Give us a call today to schedule your repair. In our business and at our firm, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. We are advocates for our client. We speak for them. So as a part of that advocacy, it involves hiring the best experts. It's doing the legal research. It's doing the medical research. That is advocacy behind the scenes. It's not just the bells and whistles in front of the jury. So you want to create your future. Discover a path worth traveling down. Find a career to get excited about. For decades, Career Tech has been training talented, skilled individuals, empowering them to step into a career that fuels not only their life, but the Oklahoma workforce. These individuals are the heartbeat of this state's economy. Individuals just like you. Create your future today at Oklahoma Career Tech. This back to school season, Give your home the connection it deserves with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Experience the power of Wi-Fi 6 technology for smoother streaming, gaming, and learning. And with the Go Pioneer Smart Wi-Fi app, managing your home network is a breeze. Choose from multiple plans with symmetrical speeds for lightning fast uploads and downloads. Get your family school ready with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Sign up today at gopioneer.com. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Squirtle.tv. Find out more at Squirtle.com slash stream. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. 
We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Surface Experts is your one-stop shop for all of your hard surface damage. If you have a scratch, chip, crack, burn mark, or hole, we can handle it. We repair all types of hard surfaces, including stone and laminate countertops, wood and LVP floors, tubs, showers, and cabinets. We can also grind and polish glass cooktops and remove scratches from stainless steel elevators and appliances. We focus on repairing just the spot with the damage so you don't have to replace the whole surface. We work with apartments and residential properties all over Oklahoma. Give us a call today to schedule your repair. In our business and at our firm, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. We are advocates for our client. We speak for them. So as a part of that advocacy, it involves hiring the best experts. It's doing the legal research. It's doing the medical research. That is advocacy behind the scenes. It's not just the bells and whistles in front of the jury. So you want to create your future. Discover a path worth traveling down. Find a career to get excited about. For decades, Career Tech has been training talented, skilled individuals, empowering them to step into a career that fuels not only their life, but the Oklahoma workforce. These individuals are the heartbeat of this state's economy. Individuals just like you. Create your future today at Oklahoma Career Tech. This back to school season, give your home the connection it deserves with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Experience the power of Wi Fi 6 technology for smoother streaming, gaming, and learning. And with the Go Pioneer Smart Wi Fi app, managing your home network is a breeze. Choose from multiple plans with symmetrical speeds for lightning fast uploads and downloads. Get your family school ready with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Sign up today at gopioneer.com. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success. So visit us today at theamgteam.com. 
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Surface Experts is your one-stop shop for all of your hard surface damage. If you have a scratch, chip, crack, burn mark, or hole, we can handle it. We repair all types of hard surfaces, including stone and laminate countertops, wood and LBP floors, tubs, showers, and cabinets. We can also grind and polish glass cooktops and remove scratches from stainless steel elevators and appliances. We focus on repairing just the spot with the damage so you don't have to replace the whole surface. We work with apartments and residential properties all over Oklahoma. Give us a call today to schedule your repair. In our business and at our firm, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. We are advocates for our client. We speak for them. So as a part of that advocacy, it involves hiring the best experts. It's doing the legal research. It's doing the medical research. That is advocacy behind the scenes. It's not just the bells and whistles in front of the jury. So you want to create your future. Discover a path worth traveling down. Find a career to get excited about. For decades, Career Tech has been training talented, skilled individuals, empowering them to step into a career that fuels not only their life, but the Oklahoma workforce. These individuals are the heartbeat of this state's economy. Individuals just like you. Create your future today at Oklahoma Career Tech. This back to school season, give your home the connection it deserves with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Experience the power of Wi Fi 6 technology for smoother streaming, gaming, and learning. And with the Go Pioneer Smart Wi Fi app, managing your home network is a breeze. Choose from multiple plans with symmetrical speeds for lightning fast uploads and downloads. Get your family school ready with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Sign up today at gopioneer.com. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. 
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Surface Experts is your one-stop shop for all of your hard surface damage. If you have a scratch, chip, crack, burn mark, or hole, we can handle it. We repair all types of hard surfaces, including stone and laminate countertops, wood and LBP floors, tubs, showers, and cabinets. We can also grind and polish glass cooktops and remove scratches from stainless steel elevators and appliances. We focus on repairing just the spot with the damage so you don't have to replace the whole surface. We work with apartments and residential properties all over Oklahoma. Give us a call today to schedule your repair. In our business and at our firm, it's all about preparation, preparation, preparation. We are advocates for our client. We speak for them. So as a part of that advocacy, it involves hiring the best experts. It's doing the legal research. It's doing the medical research. That is advocacy behind the scenes. It's not just the bells and whistles in front of the jury. So you want to create your future. Discover a path worth traveling down. Find a career to get excited about. For decades, Career Tech has been training talented, skilled individuals, empowering them to step into a career that fuels not only their life, but the Oklahoma workforce. These individuals are the heartbeat of this state's economy. Individuals just like you. Create your future today at Oklahoma Career Tech. This back to school season, give your home the connection it deserves with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Experience the power of Wi Fi 6 technology for smoother streaming, gaming, and learning. And with the Go Pioneer Smart Wi Fi app, managing your home network is a breeze. Choose from multiple plans with symmetrical speeds for lightning fast uploads and downloads. Get your family school ready with Go Pioneer Fiber Internet. Sign up today at gopioneer.com. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. The AMG team is based in Oklahoma City and delivers your organization revenue enhancement through a combination of data science, innovative marketing, and business automation. We think like owners and behave as long-term partners. Delivering measurable results for nearly 20 years has made the AMG team known for our ability to efficiently and effectively execute objectives. We are ready to help raise your organization to a higher level of success, so visit us today at theamgteam.com. 
Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk All right, welcome back, Miko Bulldogs fans. We're going to get started with the second half here. Uh, if you missed the first half, you didn't miss a whole lot of anything really besides defense. Um, just traded back and forth, uh, punting, and uh, Bulldogs turned it over. Uh, on downs in the red zone once, and so um, zeros on the board. So Bulldogs looking to – they're going to have to kick off here to uh, Winnie Wood first here in the second half because um, Winnie Wood deferred to the second half. And so they're going to have to make a stop, and we're going to want to get in the end zone pretty quickly here. Yeah, it's been a defensive struggle. I think I think the key is getting the end zone because the, they're going to have a hard time scoring against us. I really believe that. Yeah. You know, Minko's a second-half team. We make some adjustments uh, with the ability to score. Uh, I know that uh, Winnie Wood is also well-coached. So it's going to be an interesting half of football. It is. Uh, 24 minutes to see who can come out on top of this thing. I hope it's the Bulldogs yeah. for sure. So A.J. Russell kicks it off. Winnie Wood Savages pick it up. Looking to get to the left he's side. Gonna break it and he's there. going to get some room. A.J. Russell, the last one there, is able to um, knock him out of bounds. Good job by A.J. because to, to, that – it was about disastrous. That was. Uh, he had one man to beat. And yep. If he beats him, he's going to score. And so not the most ideal no, start but, there. But um, we stopped it. So, what, you know, defense can go to work here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, saved it right there with uh, knocking him out of bounds. But now you got to make sure to keep him out. And so the Winnie Wood Savages went with Everett in the first half, except for that last drive. But now they have a different quarterback in there, number eight. Big kid. He is. He's very tall. And so they do some motion. They're going to hand it off to number zero, Jaden Knighton. Oh, you got to get him down. Going to push himself forward there for a gain of about seven yards. I believe that is Aiden Knighton. Oh, is it Aiden Knighton? Yeah, Aiden uh, Knighton. Yeah. My bad. I've no, that's okay. The whole time. Uh, that's my fault. So Aiden no, Knighton. Oh, it's no big deal. I, uh, what's the brother's name? Is it? Caden. Caden, yeah. yeah. Aiden, Caden. There may be a Jaden in there somewhere. Yeah, you never might, know, though. Yeah. It's very possible. Need, so, need a stop here uh, on this series. So second and four. Savages do some little fake motion there. They're going to hand it off to Aiden Knighton, who's going to churn forward a little bit. And uh, it's like going to be short. He is short of about a yard. Brody Matthews there on the tackle. So third and two here. Uh, I would assume that they're going to go for it twice. But I would think so here in this situation. Hey. <laughs> and so empty backfield. Sorry. Thank you, guys. Empty yeah. backfield here, but no, Aiden Knighton comes. How about the Minko band? Let's they're hear it for him. To That's right. <laughs> they just delivered us some food. And uh, it looks pretty good. It does. Yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, we got we got to have a stop here, though. Uh, great food, but let's have a stop. Yeah, all right. And so now it is first down. They hand it off to Aiden Knighton, who is able to, to get the first down for the Winnie Wood Savages. Ten minutes and 14 seconds in this third quarter. Bulldogs losing some of their step they had here on defense. Uh, the Savages are pushing forward a little bit. And so quarterback is going to hand it off to a Looks different like there was a little movement there on the line. Uh, boy, that's a big gain right there, about there eight is. yards. Eight yards there given up. And so uh, Bulldogs defense playing a little soft here um, on on this. Uh, Cashton came quarter. up a little gimpy there. Looks like. Uh, Sebastian did? Yeah, no, uh, Cashton. So oh, Cashton. Know. Yeah. <coughs> Matthew's coming out and. 
Yeah. Jackson Matthews comes out, and the um, Savages hand it off again. Go right up the middle, and this running back is able to get a gain of about 15 yeah, that yards. that was a big run right there to the five-yard line or so, six-yard line. Yeah. And uh, that young man ran with some force and authority. He is. So we're going to have to tie it up here. They're going to get in the end zone. Yeah, they're, they're gashing us now here for good gains. And uh, might they're trying to be the first team to score here in this game here uh, early in the third quarter. But uh, Bulldogs trying to hold them off. And we, we've kind of played this way. I guess they're only about the 12-yard line, so um, it's been it's been a lot of bend and don't break defense. Yeah. And that's a good tackle right there. There we go. Number 65. Tucker Mivas. Tucker Mivas, good tackle by Tucker. Uh, yeah. Wasn't going to let him go anywhere, and he didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Stonewalled him. Yeah, you're right. Cashin Johnson's limping pretty good over there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's, going, what's up with him there, but he is a little gimpy. Yeah. He still was in on that tackle there, but yeah. – um, yeah, and so good stop there on, on first down. Pulls out a second and ten, so good job there not to give up anything in the run game after giving up a bunch here uh, in this third quarter already, but uh, puts a stop to it there, and that Troy Everett or comes out for the quarterback, and he's going to run to the right. Good job again by the defense. Uh, only giving up, what, about a yard maybe? Yeah. Maybe a yard? About, it looks about. Two Maybe yards. two, so yeah. uh, third and eight. This is a big third down here. Yeah. I don't know if they'll try for a field goal if they don't make it, but. Um, I bet you they, they would. It depends on if they can get close yeah. or not. Um, but third and eight. Big defensive play for the Bulldogs right here. Mm -hmm. Got to have a stop. You got to keep them out of the end zone the way this game has gone. So every right hash mark. Out there for quarterback. He's the threat to run. Takes the snap. going to look oh, left. Oh, he's got a man wide open. And he's looking. He's looking. But he's going to run. Jace Bratchard is there to meet him. I can't believe he didn't throw that. I know. The kid, the kid was, like, standing there for. It, it doesn't seem like he wants to throw it very yeah. much. Uh, I think he so would rather run the ball. Down, yeah. He does get a gain, though. Uh, and so it's going to be bringing fourth. bringing the kicker, it looks like. Yeah. Fourth and. Let's see. I can't tell. It says fourth and eight still, but I don't know if that's right. Uh, fourth and eight. I don't it's think it's quite eight, but it's still yet. Fourth and five. There it is. And so uh, they're going to bring out the nice, kicker. Nice stop by the defense, though. It is. Uh, even if they get the field goal. Almost and blocked there I don't by know. I think Johnson. he got He did get that, so it's 3 nothing to lead here. Their kicker has plenty of legs. Yeah. And so, yeah, Savage is the first on the board there with three points. Good job by uh, the Bulldogs not to give up a touchdown. It was, uh, it was, it was a big, big play uh, to to stop that. And but more importantly, we've got to go score a touchdown. Yep. Yeah, we don't have uh, really. We haven't really tried to kick or a field goal at all no, this year. Uh, so no, uh, uh, we definitely need to get in the end zone. Our kicker's hurt. Yeah, that's right. Been hurt all year. That's right. So, so yeah, we're. We do miss uh, Landon McMahon out there playing. Yeah, we sure do. He's he's uh, you know a good player, but uh, you know we have some boys who have stepped up. And yeah, I feel like Aiden's really stepped up this year yep. in some of that role and some of the uh, play. And uh, really, would nice it would be nice to see a connection to Aiden right now over yeah. the middle, or uh, he's got enough speed he can break away. Yeah, I like uh, the first drive you were you were doing stuff. I like I really like what they did. They they went down and ran with Sebastian three or four times, and then yeah. it was a play-action pass, and everybody bid on it because we all we've done is run and then uh, throw it, threw it deep to, to Aiden Brummel. And it was just a little bit behind. Aiden still caught it, and if it, if, if it was on the money, he probably scores that yeah. touchdown. Uh, and so I like that idea. I like that play. I wouldn't even mind just doing that again. Um, oh, yeah. Trying to get some play-action stuff going. Winnie Wood's going to kick it off. Looks like that's it's going to go out of bounds. Give us the ball to 35, I yep. believe. And so, so out of bounds, and so we're going to get some decent field position. So here come the Bulldog offense, hoping to get something going after a scoreless first half. So let's see what they got coming out for the Bulldogs. There's no need to panic or anything. Uh, I think run a smooth offense. Yeah. And um, 
we we just we made some mistakes out mm-hmm. there on offense tonight. I, I think if we get some of that corrected, we're we're going to find the end zone. Yep. Six minutes and 45 seconds left. They're going to hand it off to Sebastian Valdez, who's going to bounce around. Is able to get forward for a couple yards. Yeah, I tell you, Sebastian, uh, he's all he's he's a very patient runner. Yeah. And uh, he's also fast and strong, but. He picked up uh, three or four yards there on that play, so that that's a good good run on yeah. first down by Sebastian. Yeah, I mean, he, he made a, a little something out of nothing there. Yeah. Um, had to dodge a bunch of people, but still six minutes left. There's not <sighs> – It's been the craziest game I think yeah. I've ever seen. The clock's going by so fast. Uh, Dason McMurtry's going to hand off to Taylor Trulo, who's going to be tackled immediately. Was, defensive line was able to break through quickly. Yeah, there. and, and you know, you've got – 11 guys just coming right there at the line. Yep. There, there, there's nobody uh, trying to play a pass. So no. we're playing a pretty conservative football game here, and yep. uh, which is okay. I, I do believe that we are going to have to go to the air, though, yeah. at, at some point. To win this game, I think I think you're right. I, like, like I said earlier, I'd love to see some play action uh, mixed in here. Um, but we got Dason McMurtry in the shotgun with Sebastian Valdez next to him. He's looking. He's going to make a throw to – Carson Littlejohn, great route. He just ran. Nice job. Ran, uh, ran a comeback there and was wide open. I tell you what, Carson catching that too. That kind of opens the defense up a little bit, opens it some does. holes in that defense, and uh, they can't uh, just always crowd the line there. So no. that was a good play. That's what we got. To, what, what we got to see here? Yeah, I, I think uh, you know we need to see some more balance from the the offensive play calling. You know, I I think. Pounding the rock is great, but yeah, uh, I do too. it opens up some stuff, like you said, when you yeah. when you get out there and throw sure it. Sure does. So back under center, going to hand off to Taylor Trulove, yeah, who's going to be met immediately. Yeah, that play just hasn't been there all night. No. It just has not been there all night. That's about the third time they've run it with about the same result. Yeah. So. And so we're going to be pushed back two yards, so second and 12. Bulldogs struggling to get the uh, offense going. Um and so that they are, they really are. Yeah, it, it's been it's been, been a, a struggle all year. Haven't scored a whole lot of points in any game all year, really. But uh, we'll see what they can do here. Dayson Mercer hands off to Sebastian Valdez, who's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be third, maybe even a little uh, further back than the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, uh, about third and nine. So yeah. uh, here again, it's a play you're probably going to have to go to the air. Yep. Uh, you're getting close to two down territory, uh, as the clock is just evaporating. I don't yeah. know what. There's not much time. We've really used a lot of cl- a clock here in this quarter. Yeah, four minutes remaining. Yeah, there's in still this, plenty of time, I guess. But it's um, depends really on how many yards they get on this play. I think. Yeah, I mean, I I like what they've done with the passing game uh, this week when they have uh, Dayson McMurtry looking for a little screen pass to. Carson Littlejohn, who finds some blockers and is going and finds some more blockers, but is brought down Ooh, from man, behind. They, yeah, that's a horse collar. Yeah. That's going to add uh, another 10 yards 10 or so yards. to that play. Yeah. That's what we needed right there, something like that, just to, yeah. to break that out. And uh, good good play by Dason. Dason played that so well. Yeah. Uh, good job, McMurtry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a nice screenplay. He uh, takes the – does what a quarterback should do with that. Takes yeah. it. He's looking downfield trying to sell it and then uh, yeah. gets the quick pass to, for the screen and – the well, blocker set up nicely. We got to get in the end zone here. Uh, that's right. I, I think that Winnie was going to have a hard time scoring a touchdown on us if you don't know the truth. So if we can get in here and take the lead, that's that's big. Yeah, and so McMurtry's going to come off to the sidelines. They're going to run this uh, wildcat that they've been running lately. Uh, Little John and Sebastian Valdez in the backfield, and they snap to either one. Valdez gets a snap, but it's going to be a false start on the Bulldogs, which is just what we've been doing every yeah. time we get into the red zone. is um, Self-inflicted wound there, yeah. not, not needed. So it's going to be we, – we can still get a first down, like what on the half-yard line looks like. So yeah. it's almost like four, uh, four down territory here yeah. uh, to get in the end zone. But um, oh, Man, it's been a struggle with when we get in the red zone this year, and here we are again back at, backed out to the – First and 15 now. Still in the Wildcat. Snap it to Valdez again. Oh, nice job. finds some room, but is Boy, brought much. down quickly. Um, 
I think a gain of three yards. Yeah. Second down here, so. Yeah, second and 12. I wouldn't mind seeing that corner route to Aiden here uh, or to, you know, last week we had a kind of a, I don't know what, uh, number 33, a true, jeez. Uh, uh, Little John? Thank you. Little yeah. John went across, out and across, yeah, and made right. a nice touchdown catch. I'd like to see something like that, but we're running in the uh, Still Wildcat. Wildcat yeah. Yeah. To Valdez, who's going to try to go out left. It's going to be met by a bunch. Yeah, and uh, lost a little bit on that play. Yeah. And so they're going to send Dason out now. I like that. I mean, I like the Wildcat for the two-point plays. It's worked, but when you're trying to get 15 yards, it's kind of they know that they can load the box, and there's not a yeah, lot that you're going to do. And, uh, we've had a couple of nice passes. We've got two plays to get this in, so I yeah. really want to see if we can get this uh, quite a bit closer and deeper. Yeah. And hopefully in the end zone. Mm -hmm. Third and 14. Dason McMurtry under center. And they're going to call Time a out. timeout. Okay, interesting. Uh, this is a big series right here. We've got two yeah. plays to get in the end zone, and um, we obviously have the opportunity to it. I think they'll draw something up pretty good here. Yeah, I mean, the word laws often coming out of a – a timeout, come up with something pretty good uh, that works out, and so um, I think we, I think when we saw that catch from Carson Littlejohn last week, it was, I think it might have been out of a timeout. I'm not sure, um, but uh, third and fourteen, so you got to get a lot of yards, or you got to get some here and then go for it on fourth down, uh, something a little closer. But you got to gain some here. Um, got to get in the end zone. I, I know we're not going to kick the ball, so. Uh, we're going to go for everything here, try to get some points on the board for the first time tonight. There's only a minute and 52 seconds left in the third quarter, so this game's this flying by. This is the fastest yeah. game I think I've ever seen. I know. Um, both teams are running the football. You know, yeah. that's what happens. And uh, reminds me of an old OU game back in the day yeah. when they ran the wishbone. The game was over in about two and a half hours. Yeah. Now it takes about four hours to get a yeah. football game over. But that's right. Here we go. All right. So now we're in shotgun. Dace McMurtry and Sebastian Valdez. That trips out to the left. Takes the, the right, snap. Brother. He's going to look right. He's going to run it. Now he's going to throw oh, he's it. Got, ah. It was oh, good. It was, it was a good play. Was I a, liked it. but That was a, just a, the throw was a little off. Yeah. Uh, we were pretty open in the end zone. Yeah. He had to get it over the linebacker's head and just, uh, I think, trying to do that, it ended up messing up that throw. So now it is fourth and 14. Yeah, on the fourteen, and so I guess yeah, there is a half yard that you could get a first down, but yeah, uh, we'll see what they come up with here on this second play. Really want to try to get in here and win this game. You know, this is a big district game here. You, you win is. three games in district, it, it really puts you in a good position moving towards the playoffs. So, so need Dayson to try to get Mercury a win here. Looking left. Oh man, it was on his hands. I couldn't see it. It was in his hands and right out of Carson. Uh, Carson had it, and then uh, just. Kind of ricocheted off his hands, had to go for it, but uh, almost a good catch there yeah. by Carson. So defense is going to have to step up here and get us the ball back. Yep. Cannot let them score. Now, uh, again, for the second tonight, time tonight, the Bulldogs get into the red zone and immediately um, end up getting some penalties that push them back, and then they got to try to make some stuff happen. And uh, it just hasn't worked out for the Bulldogs tonight in the red zone, um, but still in a Good position to win this game. Oh, yeah. A minute and 41 seconds left. And so uh, in the third quarter, still got a fourth quarter and got to get a stop here. Yeah. Can't let them get, uh, do what they were doing early in that last drive with yeah. uh, getting some gash runs. And so got to sure that up if you want to win this game. So they hand it off to Aiden Ooh. Knight, who does break a tackle, breaks another one, is going to get close to a first down, brought yeah. down by – Dason McMurtry. Really have got to close that uh, close that gap up because they're just gashing us right now. Yeah. And really got to stop it. So no first down, second and two. Yeah, I mean, we're just getting – There's a they're making a nice hole up the middle and they're going yep. straight through it. And uh, he's he can break at least one tackle usually. And so yep. uh, got to make sure we're – in there, number eight is in there for the 
Winnie Wood Savage is playing quarterback now. He's going to hand it off to Aiden, who's going to be met by Jace Bratcher, but he's going to bounce out, and now they're going for a run. Jace Bratcher trying to get him, pulls him down from behind. But they get all the way down to the 50-yard line. Yeah, they got a lot of motion going over there on that sideline, and uh, we need a big play here on defense to stop this. Yep. Uh, do not – you can let them score a field goal, mm -hmm. but they cannot score a touchdown. No. Cannot because I mean, you go down two scores in this game, it's it's uh, it's pretty – yeah. Tough. You got to stop. Yeah. If we get if, if we stop them from running and they got to make a throw, yeah. uh, we saw what what could happen and we almost had three picks at the end of the the first half yeah. when they were trying to throw and so handoff to number three who does find a hole oh and is going goodness. to try to go, but AJ Russell in the deep safety spot is yeah, there another ten yard gain or so or 12, yeah. 11, 12 yard game. Yeah, it's. it's they're they're going to have to cinch this up. I'm not sure what's happening, but they are finding the seam and going. You yeah. know. So. Winnie Wood finding some success running up the middle, uh, finding a lot of gaps. So got to sure that up up the middle. Got to get a push off the line. Yep. Close those gaps. Linebackers got to fill it. And they hand it off to number three again. This time he is by there. quick by Brody Matthews a and Chase Bratcher. Going into the fourth quarter, zeros on the board. I mean zeros on the clock, and so zero to three in favor of the Winnie Wood Savages. Uh, next week. Yeah. We play Thursday night. Thursday night. It's fall break week. Uh, if you're listening and you haven't signed your uh, time's up for parent-teacher conferences, do that Monday. Yeah. Have conferences on Tuesday. We'll be off Wednesday through Friday. Thursday night, we travel to Walters, to Blue Walters. Devil Territory, and um, we'll work on the broadcast uh, for that game. We'll see how it goes if we're able to broadcast, or we will make sure you have an opportunity to listen to that ball game. Yeah. But um, – it is a uh, night that we have to travel Thursday night mm -hmm. down I-44. That's right. Um, while we're in a, a quarter break here, uh, the volleyball team went to regionals this week. They did. Uh, first inaugural volleyball season. Uh, I think they won a game in regionals. Yeah. Beat Cement. Um, and then lost to the defending state champion. Yeah. Uh, and who will probably win the state championship yes. again. In Christian Heritage. There is I, – I went to the game. There is no shame in losing to that team. They were really good. They've yeah. won state like four of the last five years. And yeah. So, uh, no shame in losing to that team, especially no, your first year out. Not. So. No, and uh, really proud of the effort of those young ladies. Uh, good effort. So, we're uh, quickly kind of fading into basketball season, if you I will. Know. You know, with the fifth and sixth grade getting ready to get started. And here in November, junior high. So, Big, big series right here. Yeah. Second down. And good, oh, nice job good there. Good stop there. Brody Matthews able yeah. to bust through the line. Matthews has had a as couple well good Tucker plays Mivis. here. He has. Yeah. He has. Uh, and so he's made a pretty good stop here on this little uh, series yeah. here. And so third and eight. Big third down play for the Bulldogs. Yeah. And so I don't know if you can stop him up here. Oh, yeah. You know, man, they brought in a lot of people. Oh, there's a flag flying right here. I'm not sure what happened, if this is on us or. I think. Oh, it's on us. A uh, legal substitution or something or. Yeah. I, well, or maybe a sideline warning. Maybe. I don't know. It must have been. Must, must have been a sideline or some, so some kind of. You're going to look to throw, get a little screen get him. to Aiden, and he is oh, brought nice, down. Good job there. Good tackle. Bratcher. About four yards short of the first down, and uh, someone is kind of gimpy again yes. there. Who is that? Jace Bratcher. Jace Bratcher, yep. He does not look good. So, uh, fourth and three or four here for the Winnie Wood. They're probably going to go for it, I would think. They might punt it, but I don't, I don't think so. Uh, bringing in the big boys. Uh, number 10's a big kid, isn't he? Uh, the ref's going to make Jace come out because he's yeah. kind of stumbling around. Yeah. So, Jose Martinez is going to come in for Jace Bratcher. But, yeah, number 10, they're tied in. He's a big guy. He is a big kid. I uh, want to keep this in front of you and get him down, uh, you know, within three yards and, and get the ball back right here. Big fourth down for the Bulldog defense. Yeah, Cameron. fourth and three. Yeah, this is huge. You get a stop, a uh, good opportunity to go down the field and – Get the lead here. Carson Littlejohn looks like he's going to bring some pressure. Oh, there's another penalty flag. Is this offsides? Did they? I don't know what. I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh man. 
Man. So first down, we must have jumped off. Yeah, sides. that was just a terrible mistake by the Bulldog defense there on fourth down. You cannot do yes. that, and um, very costly. So we're gonna have to gonna have to cinch it up here and not let him in. Yeah, and so good job to get him to fourth down yeah. uh, here, and then now we, on a mental error, we give him up the first down. So. Well, uh, big, uh, uh, the line needs to step up. They've been pl the Lions played a lot better this series, so uh, we'll see what we can do here. To, and then we're having a discussion of the officials. I don't know. Yeah. Not sure what we're. Bruce Tro Troxel is the head official. He is a famous referee in Oklahoma. Been around for a long time. Does a pretty good job. It's officials' appreciation night in the state of Oklahoma, so we do appreciate those guys what they do. I'm not sure what's going on here, either. though. I was talking to Jay Spratcher. They're making him go off again. Interesting. I guess because he didn't go off because they didn't run a play. I, and so. I guess so. I don't know. It's kind of weird. That is weird. Got to gotta have a stop here, Cameron. Got yep. to have a stop. Cannot let them score. Nope. So first and ten from the Bulldogs, 27. Going to hand off to number three, who's going to find a little bit of room. Going to find slip a lot of room. right through and get a nine-yard gain. So, got to figure something out if you want to win this one. Giving up way too much. Yeah, uh, yeah. You got to got to cinch it up here. The Bulldogs did good against the run in the first yeah. in the first half, but uh, I don't know if just getting tired or what's going on here. I think we just maybe our scheme a little bit is the hand it off. Uh, it's time to Aiden Knighton, who's going to get met by some Bulldogs, but after a first down. This is where we got to you know we tightened up a while ago uh, on the series, so yeah. we want to hold them to three or less. Yeah. Yeah, I mean if you have if you give up a a field goal here, which it looks like we're in that range where they're going to at least go for that. You gotta um, keep them out of the end zone, or we're, keep them out of the end if, zone. You, if they score a touchdown, it really being down ten points. It's, it's going to be hard because we we've really had a hard time moving the football tonight. Yeah, and so nine minutes and thirty three seconds. It's first and ten. They're going to take the snap, hand it off to Aiden Knighton, who is going to be tackled by Tucker Mivis. Good job by Tucker, a stonewall tackle right there, and yeah, uh, yeah he, he he tackled him hard. There was a gap, and he yeah. crushed it. And so, good job. Yep. But Tucker Mivis to make sure that wasn't. Tucker's a had game. a nice game tonight. You've called his name a few times. Yeah. Yeah, there's been a couple guys on defense that uh, have done a really good job tonight. But, um, and I mean, the defense did pr really good in the first half. It's just starting to slip here in the in the end here. Going to hand it off. He's going to try to find some room, and he does. There's a penalty flag thrown. Probably a holding call against. Um, it looks about that area. Uh, against the Savages. Let's see. Yep, yeah. holding. All right, so that's big. That's a big call. That's yeah. a real big call against Winnie Wood. And uh, self-destruction by Winnie Wood, which we'll take. Yep. Yeah, and so holding is going to put him back. It's, that's going to help out the Bulldogs. They're going to put him back at about – the 27. Nope. That was wrong. About the 22. And so second and 18 for the Savages. They're going to hand off or oh, no. fake the handoff. Going to roll right. Does have a guy open. Oh, an incomplete. Good defense there by Dason McMurtry to get his that hand in there. That was good. Dason McMurtry broke that up, or that was a catch. Good job yeah. by Dason. He's having a stellar game as quarterback in, yeah. in the secondary tonight. Yeah, he's played good at, in the corner spot uh, yeah. every time he's been put in there. And so, uh, good job, Dason McMurtry. So third. This knocks him out of field goal 18. territory, too, I think. So, two big plays coming up here. Yeah. I could be wrong. I guess if they got enough yards, they might. Yeah. But uh, they're about 21, about 39 yards away. I don't think they got a 39-yard field goal. Boy, the time is just crazy in this yeah. game. Eight minutes and 38 seconds. And we've got a timeout. timeout Winnie Wood. Winnie Wood, yep. And so. This is crucial right here it for is. both teams. Uh, Bulldogs got 
a nice <coughs> little help out there from the refs to get yes. back uh, 10 yards for a holding. So it's third and 18. Yep. Good defense there by Jason McMurtry to knock that one down. And so uh, the the Savages have to try to gain 18 yards here or, yep. uh, or at least try to get themselves in a position to, to kick a field goal. But uh, I think you're okay with that if you're the Bulldogs. Yeah, you're you not, are. You're, you're just fine with that because uh, – we can still score a touchdown yeah. and get our two-point conversion and, and take the lead. Yep. But uh, definitely uh, the way this game is moving, it's going to be fast. So, yeah. we've we got to score if we can. Yeah. Can't mess around on it, you know. So. Yeah, I mean, there's times just running out. I wish – I mean, I wish we had stats. I'd love to see the time of possession oh, yeah, on each me side. Too. Uh, but it's been lots of run, and so um, – not a, not a whole. I mean, a whole lot of time's been run through really quick, yep. and so we're going to be out of here pretty fast. For I'm going to eat this Friday food, okay, Cameron? The, yeah, the band brought us some barbecue from Swadley's up here, Put and it right uh, it's just sitting here too. looking at me, and I'm like, man, I'm hungry. It and smells I can, good. It oh, does. it does smell good. Never do that to a fat man, okay? <laughs> just don't do it. But anyway, here we go. And here come the Savages. No defense. He's going to hand oh, off. Nice, Get nice him. little play. Oh, good oh, tackle right who was there. That? Brody that, Matthews. Man, Brody broke through a block and yeah. somehow another – I don't know how yeah, he did that. I don't either. Was uh, that impressive. was impressive by Brody Matthews. Because he was getting blocked by that number 10 who probably Okay, that, so that was a big – they're going to kick a field goal. Or, and watch for a fake too, okay? Yeah. Don't – don't. you got to be careful here. Uh, man, this is a 30. He's got the leg. He yeah. does. I don't know if he's got the accuracy, but he's got the leg. 32-yard um, attempt. So, this is, this is another – Another big uh, situation here. So, oh. oh, it's going to be blocked Block. by get it, Cassie get it, Johnson. Get it, get it, get it, go! Wow, good awesome. job by the Bulldogs. So that is the fourth block of a field goal by Cassian Johnson this year. I uh, got a little excited there. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, that was exciting. And so that's what we block. needed. Get a little gets the crowd into it too, you know. Yeah. So that's a little it's a little dead there. So. Big series coming up for the That's Bulldogs right. with uh, less than eight minutes to go now in the in the game. Got to put it in the end zone. Yep. Or run out of opportunities. And now I don't I don't know any of the stats, but I would venture to say Cashin Johnson leads the district in uh, blocked field goals. He might, goals lead, he with might four. lead the state of Oklahoma. Yeah, he might four. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Pretty so, impressive. Good job, Cashin. There. It was a bad snap, and he got in there and got yeah. the block and. Uh, Okay, here we go. And so, Daisy McMurtry. We've got to have something good happen to us here. I know. I hope to see something uh, electric here, some big play. And so, they're going to fake the pitch, get it to A.J. Russell, who's going to be met quickly, but he's going to gain two yards. Yeah. It's positive yardage. You, you'll you'll yeah. take that. Just don't get put back behind the chains. No, you absolutely don't want to. So, this this is another key play here. Um, you know, our yards have been hard to come by tonight. Yeah. Uh, they really have. They have. Uh, not great statistics, but we're still in this football game. Our defense has kept right. us in there and um, got to put it in. This is a good Winnie Wood team. I, w I would like to see a shot down the field right here, uh, I, if I'm being honest. But I don't know if that's going to happen. And so they're going to look to throw. They're going to get it to try to get to Tate Trillo. It's going to be picked, and he's got some room running down the sidelines, and he's going to get into the end zone. So pick six for the Winnie Wood Savages. Good play, but the ball just didn't have enough air on it. And no. uh, very costly, very costly. We're going to go down two scores here. So we definitely have to score um, when we get the ball back here. Yep. And get it again and score again. So Yeah, seven minutes uh, left, so there's plenty of football to be played. Oh, yeah, plenty of football to be played. But we, <sighs> we, we have no room for error now. No, nope. So. Got to make something happen now. And you got to make something happen quicker than you than lose you would here. Like. It makes that Walters game a pretty big game next yeah. week, a really big game for us. So, um, want to try to try to come away with a win if we can. So they're gonna kick it again, and Man, this time he does have a leg. He is gonna make it. So it's gonna give the Savages a 10-0 lead yeah. over the Bulldogs. Well, that's an unfortunate play there but uh yeah uh good play call just uh, the, the pass yeah just didn't have enough air to it and it just it kind of floated out there yeah. and uh credit the defender he watched it all yeah. the way and, and, and took, took care of business so yeah it was a good play by them um but now if you're Dayson McMurtry 
you got to clear that out of your head. Yeah, yeah you got to clear that out of your head and move on. And so, yeah. uh, that's that's what makes a good quarterback is if you well, can forget think, that play uh, and keep going. I think that that's a little bit of life. You yeah. have, have adversity, and uh, you just keep going. You keep working and keep getting better. And uh, this thing is not over. Trust no. me, this is not over. If we can get a quick score here, it's definitely not over. No. So, yeah. uh, you know, big big Plenty opportunity here for the Minko Bulldogs. So, back deep to receive this kick is Taylor Truelove and Aiden Brummel. Two guys that got some wheels, and so yeah. if you give them an opportunity with some blocking, they could they could break one. And so um, they they're, they got pretty good vision and are able to run pretty good. And so let's see what happens. Going to kick it off. They're going to do a little kick little to Cassie right Johnson. There. He's going to take it. He's going to go a couple yards, and he's going to – get taken down pretty good field position at yep. the 42 so uh you know we're still capable of getting something downfield here so for sure yeah i think it's very key that we do we don't have a lot of time so we're gonna have to get it downfield pretty quickly and, and get in the end zone yep so 10 to 0 can't count the bulldogs out yet oh no not at all this is by far from over and yep. uh just gotta keep keep fighting here but we do gotta do it quick yeah if you remember in the hinton game didn't yes. look like there was much hope, but still ended up with a win on that one. And so in shotgun formation out wide with uh, Aiden Brummel and Taylor Truven on the other side is A.J. Russell. Sebastian Valdez in the backfield. They're going to hand it off to Sebastian Valdez, who's going to run forward for about three yards. Trying to catch him off guard on a, what they think was going to be a passing down probably, but... Hand off, get some three yards, get get the ball moving forward, two yards. These are two pretty good football teams out here playing tonight. This is even very evenly matched. It is. Um, we, we've made some mistakes tonight. That's yeah. the difference in the ball game. That is. That, that interception is a real difference. That is. Very, I mean, yeah, you're correct. Very evenly matched. Um, they're going to hand it off to Fashion Valdez again. He's going to get pushed forward. It's going to be third and yeah. About five. So third and five for the Bulldogs. Six minutes and ten seconds left. Haven't tried to throw it or anything here. So no. Dace McMurtry still in shotgun. Aiden Brummel in motion. They're going to toss it out to Aiden Brummel. Who's going to find some room? And he's going to be taken out short of the first down. It was kind of slow. It's almost they almost gave it away almost. I know. Just, so it, it, it did not really catch them off guard. No. I think that's a great play though with Aiden getting him around yeah. the edge. Uh, big fourth down right here. Ball game if they if we don't uh, if we don't yeah got to do with something it. yeah got to do it right here. So we, we've got to got to get some traction. Fourth and three. Five minutes and forty eight seconds. Hands it off to Taylor Trulove, who's going to try to go upfield and then cuts to the side. Got to keep running upfield. Yeah. Number one do. ends up with the ball. But. It'll be short. Uh, yeah, up to the Miko defense here to try to get some, make something happen and uh, get a turnover or get a score. Uh, time is running out on the Bulldogs here. 542 left. Yeah. Well, what was that? Four run plays? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Bulldogs turn the ball over on fourth down. And so first down and 10 on the 50 for the Winnie Wood Savages. Yeah. Down 10. Been a while since I've seen Miko shut out. I know. So we, we'd like to try to get this thing in uh, big, big series right here. And, and you know, they're, we've got some timeouts, but <laughs> – being down two scores is tough, it Cameron. Is. It's just really tough in this situation. So they're going to run the football. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, the handoff and, uh, to Aiden Knighton, who is going to be tripped up early. Yeah, nice job, nice tackle. Brody Matthews. And, uh, you know, got to get a stop here pretty quick. Yep. So, I mean, it's, it's not over, but, man, it's fading away. It is. Five minutes and 26 seconds. Yeah, it's going to be less than about five minutes when they snap this football. So, yeah. Um, not a lot of time. Nope. And they're not going to pass the ball, so there's not really much of a chance for an interception. So you got to just make sure that you're keeping them from yeah. the first down. 
And so they are yeah. going to get Ooh. four yards. Pretty good push there by the, uh, the nine's a good football player, isn't he? Yeah. He doesn't quit running. He he pushes hard. So he is. He's good. Big third down here. Yeah. And so third and four. And we're going to have about third four minutes six. when they make this play. So we we got to have this stop on this series. Yeah. And score quick. Yeah. You got to stop him right here. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Bulldogs do have two timeouts left. Trying to get the stop here on this third down. Force a punt. Four minutes and 27 seconds. They are going to hand it off to number three. Oh, who is going to be pulled down got him. by a great tackle. Oh, oh, they call it face mask. Oh, dad. I don't think it was a face mask at all. I don't, I, I don't think. I mean, I think he had him by the jersey. He did not have him. Uh, terrible call. Terrible, Base terrible basketball. call. He had him by the jersey. Well, that yeah, – That's that, first down. <sighs> Man. Jeez, he did not have him by the face mask, Cameron. I know. I, I don't even think it would he have been He called him from the back side. He just got spun around because he had him by the jersey. I know. I can't believe that. And that is a that. huge penalty against the Bulldogs with four minutes left in the football game. That, that takes him from a fourth down to running the clock here on first yeah. down. Dad gone it. I would say it was a – it was a weird-looking tackle, but it was not a face mask. Yeah, it was not a face mask. And so they're going to hand off. Who's going to be met immediately by Jackson Matthews. It's a good play. Yeah. He gets maybe a yard there. Well, we just don't have a lot of time. No. <laughs> they, they, we, can't, we cannot afford another first down on this thing here. No. Nope. Three minutes so. and 47 seconds. One of the fastest games I've ever seen. Yeah, it's, it's not even 9 o'clock. No. Going to be home early. Get some rest before uh, for the big one tomorrow. Yeah, huh? that's right. Red River rivalry. That's hard to say. Red River rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three minutes and twenty-six seconds. Take the snap. Gonna hand it off. There is a bunch, and he's gonna be able to get a gain there. I'm not really sure how that he's happened. He's kind of bounced off and went down uh, about he does. jumped about two yards. I don't know how he did it. So. Huge third down. They're, they're, this is four down territory, but this is a big third down play. Yeah. We're going to have to use a timeout here in a minute because we're. Clock's just draining away. We're just winding down here. Three minutes left. Third and eight for the Winnie Wood Savages. They're in no hurry to snap the ball. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoffs. Rolling right. He's going to try and run. He was – I thought he's passed the line of scrimmage. But into the dirt. So fourth and eight. That's kind of a weird play call for Winnie Wood. Yeah, it's an incomplete pass. It so. stops the clock. Two minutes and 39 seconds. Are they going to go for it? I would think so. They're going to go for it. Fourth and eight. I might punt the football here. If I'm Woody Wood and try to pin him deep, but and they might try some kind of quick kick. I don't know, but yeah, um, or quick punt. But I, I don't, I don't know. So they bring in their other quarterback, number five. Got to watch the run from him. They're gonna hand it off to number three. Oh, that's a no. hold right there. And they threw the flag. Yeah, so. they did. So that's that's Ouch. big. Oh goodness. That's a big penalty right there. It it's going to put it. I think they probably punt the football here on fourth and uh, 18. 18. Holding on the offense. Good. I'm, I thought they were going to miss it, but they did yep. not. And so back 10 yards, going to be fourth and 18. Two minutes and 32 seconds. It does stop the clock with the penalty, and so. We'll see what they're going to do this time. Looks like they're going to run out their kicking team. Maybe. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, need like a snap over the head or something like yeah, that. Nice. You know, something to help us out would be flipping nice. Yeah. And so they bring out their kicker for the punt. Yeah. Two minutes, the uh, clock is running. Two minutes and 22 seconds. Flag is thrown. It was a bad snap, but. Yeah. 
I don't know what we have going here. I don't either. I think Legal substitution. Okay. So, going to go back some more. Uh, let's, let's get this thing over his head. Yeah. It was a bad snap, but it was low. Uh, um, you know, <sighs> there's still time on the clock, so anything can happen. We, as right. you alluded to, the Hinton game. And oh, oh, man. Almost there. over his head. He does Goodness. kick it, and it is going to go into the end zone. Yeah. So. Lucky bounce. Uh, that Yeah, that – uh, it almost you almost manifested that. Yeah, I, I, I should have manifested it more. <laughs> um. But like you said, there's two minutes. We have you got to some athletes, quick, real yeah. quick, and um, get an onside. Anything's possible. It is. Um, we're. Um, in shotgun, takes the snap. He's going to look oh, no. right. He's going to throw long to Aiden Brummel. It's going to be picked by number one for the Savages. Well, that will be the ball game right there. They'll take that a is. knee and, and win this sucker. Um, congratulations to Winniewood. They yep. they made the plays that needed to to win they this did. football game. Uh, it knocks us. We've, we've only lost one in district, so we're two and one. Yep. Next week's game is going to be very, very important. Camera, we, we've got to we've got to get a find a way to get a victory down there at Walters, and um, you know we're in the meat of our schedule here. Yeah, uh, and we didn't like just necessarily play horrible in this football game. We just made some key key errors, the two interceptions, obviously. Yeah, and really the interception is the big difference. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a three nothing ball game, uh, and we were in the red zone a couple times and couldn't yeah. put it in. Uh, yeah, I mean, no one scored a touchdown except you know, for uh, the defense for the Savages and stuff. That know. flips a, flips it all right there. Um, but, yeah. Well, Winniewood is a good team. Uh, I think, you know, Miko had every chance to win this game, just was unable. Um, yeah. And they're going to run their quarterback, who's going to yeah. get a yard, get tackled. Yeah, and uh, obviously we're just going to let this thing run out and yeah. move on with it. And, um, you know, sometimes you lose. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have to pick it up, yep. practice hard, and have a short week yep. uh, as we play Thursday against a, a very good Walters team. Uh, so we got another challenge ahead of us next week. Yep. Yeah, we were spoiled last year with uh, not well, losing in the regular season. And no, and um, – that's pretty rare. Yeah, it doesn't happen often. So so he's going to be pulled down. Oh, he oh, fumbled, fumbled it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my – oh, wow. And they're going to say he was down. No, he wasn't. I know. No, he wasn't. Oh, they did. They gave okay. him the fumble. This is, now, this is interesting. Yeah. Okay, A now. A minute and 11 seconds. We've got an opportunity to take it to the end zone here. I mean, I know I'm probably being too hopeful, but um, – we're one big play away from yeah. scoring. If you're, if you're Winnie Wood, why, why didn't you take a knee there? Well, I think that's good because we were going to call a timeout. No. So, uh, interesting. But we'll take the, we'll take yeah, the benefit. we'll take this. Got to give the quarterback some protection to get off a good throw. So Daisy McMurtry's he's looking. Gonna he's going to have to run, and Ooh. he's going to be Ugh. hit from behind as he throws and almost picked off, but yeah. was unable to catch it. Yeah, you're right. He needs some time to He's allow gotta have to some develop the, the, downfield. They've they got to protect him and let him get off a good throw here in this situation. So a minute and seven seconds. A quick little play there, but uh, second and ten. Bulldogs going to be looking for something downfield. Need some protection. He had to run off to his left really quick there. Takes a snap. Rolling right this time. Throws it out to Aiden Brummel, who does oh, catch it, but he's bounds. out of bounds. Yeah. So it is a third and ten. One minute and one second left. So big fumble, but well, see. We're going to clean it up and come back. Yeah. Um, and we had a loss, and after we came back, had our loss last uh, against Dibble, we came back and played a really nice game the next yeah. week. I think that'll happen this week. You know, yeah. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know how Walters is this year, but they're good. 
They're good. Yeah, they're a good right. football team. They're about like Winnie Wood. Gets it to Aiden Brummel, who's going to um, get tackled for a gain of timeout. four or five yards. Timeout, Bulldogs. 52 seconds, fourth and five. No yeah. quit in the Bulldogs, is there? No, no. They're going to fight all They're the way to the. Quit. It was. It's been a good game. I mean, in no way did Winnie Wood dominate yeah. this game. Um, just like you said, that that pick six is huge for uh, the Winnie Wood Savages there. So, got. 52 seconds. Need five for the first down. We're on the 41-yard line, so would like to get in the end zone quick here. But Yeah, it's going to take a miracle to win this. <laughs> I it mean, is. a real miracle. <laughs> um, but I would like to get a score. No, I don't want to get shut out, but, you know, it is what it is. Yep. We don't, we don't. But um, – this week of preparation is going to be very, very important to get our focus back to us. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if we get a win next week, if we lose next week, you we are really in a tight spot for that. Uh, oh, my. A tight spot for that. Um, you know, with the loss here, it's going to put us our back against the wall to win the district. But we get, we got to finish in the top four for playoffs, you know. So uh, you finish number four, you're going to Fairview. You don't really yeah. want to do that. So. Yeah. Second or third is ideal. Um, we've got some work ahead of us to do there to yeah. uh, get in the playoffs. So. Yeah, but it's you know it's all reachable. It's all still there. It's all. very attainable. Very yeah. attainable. Uh, we're four and two after tonight, and um, you know, and, and I think too, we're a very young football team, Cameron. Yeah. Very, very young, yeah. and uh, these guys are getting better each week, mm -hmm. and I think we'll play well against Walters on Thursday night. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably going to be a fire under them after uh, losing this oh, one. Oh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, but you got some tough games ahead of you. Got to go to CHA. Uh, that's that's gonna a, be a real tough, tough one. one. Yeah. They're they're the, probably the best team in the not probably they are the best team in the district. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so the next would. two are tough, and we've got to beat Hobart and Okima. Yeah. To um, get the W, but. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Take the loss, regroup, let's go get Walters. That's right. That's right. Yeah, everything you want to do is still ahead of you. And so um, this one's, you know, it's not the end of the world here. And so oh, no. No, no. I know it's it's hard for these guys when they lose games like this. You know, this, it's been a great homecoming week. Yeah. Uh, a lot of festivities, activities for the kids. Uh, it's been a long week. And thank you to our teachers and our staff for a good yeah. week. And, um Anyway, there we go. Yep, that's the game. Catch you guys next time.